Aloha guys, welcome back to my channel. A Mermaid Nina here. As promised, tonight's video is gonna be all about the relief band. That's right, this is what I have tested and tried out per motion sickness. So of course we're gonna talk about what is it, right? What is it for? How much? Where do I purchase? And then of course my full on review because I have tested out the relief band. First, I gotta make it 100% known. I researched this product on my own. I paid for it out of my own money, out of my own pocket. This is not, and I repeat, not a paid for advertisement or a freebie because I'm an influencer. I actually bought it with my own money. And I do believe that matters because I do think there's some people out there who push products because they got them for free. I like to make it well known, I paid for it. So if I like the product, I used my own money, right? And both my kids and I have tested this product in various situations. So let's go right to it, right? Okay, first thing, what is it? Well, the relief band is actually a band, kind of like a watch. It's a band, it goes over your wrist. It actually sends pulses down your arm into your brain through a nervous system and other areas to prevent nausea and vomiting. This includes the sickness that often comes with motion, right? Motion sickness. It's basically a drug-free way, right? No Dramamine, a drug-free way to prevent that feeling of just being like sick to your stomach, right? Whether it's a car ride or airplane or roller coaster, those kind of feelings, right? It is labeled for, and I'm going to read it because it's actually on the box. It is labeled for air sickness, sea sickness, car sickness, pregnancy, chemotherapy, post-operative sickness, uh, physician-diagnosed migraines, anxiety, and hangovers. Yeah, so they're promising a lot with this a little old band. So yeah, sounds great. But per the price tag, I was a little skeptical. So of course I went ahead and did my own research. Uh, my daughter has really bad motion sickness as do I. So I decided if it just works in the car or if it just works on an airplane, it could literally save our life. I feel like that. When you have that bad of motion sickness, to finally be able to do things that other people get to do easily, it does feel like a lifesaver. You know, after 20 minutes in the car, her or I, both of us could get sick. When airplanes get a little crazy, lots of turbulence, yeah, we can get sick. So we felt it was very much worth trying out. So that's why we're gonna get to the how much and where did we purchase, right? So luckily um, there was a huge sale when I purchased it. So I think I got these about 30% off. I decided to go with a bundle. So when you go on the website, you can actually just purchase, there, there's like four different kinds of relief bands. I got the nicer one, right? And I'll tell you why. Uh, they also have bundles where you can kind of bundle a few things together to get a better price. So I was able to bundle to get two relief bands, right? One for me, one for my daughter. And then I was able to add on other accessories like a charger and extra gel. We will get into it. And I think I got about 25, 30% off. So even though it was really expensive, it was still a deal, right? Gotta find those deals. For those of you who are curious about the price, and yes, you can buy this on Amazon. In fact, I have them on my Amazon link. Uh, you can also buy them direct from Relief Band. So actually what I did is I went to Relief Band and got all the info. And then if Amazon's price was cheaper, I was gonna purchase via Amazon. In my situation, Relief Band online was cheaper. So I went that route. So the band itself, just one band, is $280. Now that is for the Premier. To me, this was the nicest band at the time. They do have cheaper options but I really liked the Premier, and I will tell you why further down. And then there's gel. You need the gel. You have to put the gel on your wrist to make it work, so you have to get some gel. Um, it does come with gel, but I got extra gel. Gel alone is $18. 
Now, each band also comes with a charger, right? You gotta charge it USB. Uh, but I read the reviews, the charger was a little flimsy, kept falling off, not really ideal. So I paid extra money and got a better charger. The band actually sits on top of this charger. So this was about $30. It's USB, it plugs in, and there are these little, I don't know, magnet areas that actually click into the band right here, and then it kind of just rests on the charger and it will charge. I love this bad boy. So this was definitely worth the price for us. So yeah, I got two of these, uh, two simple chargers. Now I've got four containers of gel and one nice charger. And I can't remember how much I spent. It was in the $400 range. So maybe $380 to $400. That was the deal I got for all of this. And like I said, it was a huge gamble. These aren't really something you can return. Although they claim on the website you have 14 days to return it. I needed more proof than what 14 days was gonna give me. There was no way I was gonna have time to order the band, get it shipped to me, have a trip right then and there, quickly go on the trip, come home, and then decide if it was worth it. So it was kind of one of those things that when you purchase it, it's yours because I just felt like that 14 days wasn't really enough. But like I said, it was a huge gamble and I just kept thinking if this allows us to go on car rides, if this allows us to take family vacations via the car, score. If this means we can finally go on longer airplane rides without the meds, without the Dramamine, score. I wasn't even going into roller coasters at this point. I wasn't even thinking of a cruise at this point, although of course that was in my head. I was really thinking car rides and airplane. If it works for us, totally worth it. So like I said, you can purchase it via Amazon or direct from Relief Band. Inside one box, you get the band. You get the simple charger, you get one gel. You have to use the gel every single time you use it. And sometimes you gotta use the gel a few times. That is if you're wearing your band throughout the entire day. So having extra gel was definitely key. So how do you use it? I'm gonna tell you how it works. So this is the band, like I said, the Premier Band. This is the screen. On the back side of the band, it's kind of hard to see, there's this metal plate right here. It's circular, it's a metal plate. This is what needs to be put in a very specific area on your wrist, kind of like in your, I don't even know what to call this area. It's about two fingers down from the crack of your wrist where you can bend your wrist. This is the same spot those like seasickness bands or maternity bands also had to be on. This like some sort of pressure point right here. So it has to be in a very specific spot. You take your gel and you put on like a dime size amount, maybe even smaller, maybe like a pea. And you put a little bit of gel on and that helps it work, right? And then you put on your band. You actually want it pretty, pretty tight. You don't want it loose. Kind of like those motion sickness bands where you would keep pressing the pulse area just to kind of get it to work. You want it nice and tight. And then it just kind of buckles on and you, and that's it. It just, it looks like a watch. In fact, it, it kind of looks like a Fitbit. It just looks like I'm wearing a Fitbit. And then you turn it on. It actually has 10 levels, 10 being the extreme of sickness, right? Um, we usually wear it around a three or a four. How do you know it's working? Well, according to all the instructions and people I talked to and reviews I read, if it's gonna work for you, when you turn it on, you should feel, now this is really weird, it's kind of like this weird tingling feeling that goes from your wrist down to your fingers. And then sometimes you can feel it even further up your arm. But as soon as you feel that tingly feeling, it's working, it's on. For me, it, I don't really feel the tingling till I get to about level three. Level one and level two don't really do much for me. About three or four is when I start feeling that tingling and I can put it up as high as, I think I've gone as high as six so far per my situations. Once you feel the tingling, it's been activated, it's working, and then you just adjust as needed. The great part is, is it's on, it's working. You can turn it off, you can turn it on as you need. As soon as you feel the tingling, it's working, right? So you don't have to keep taking it off and on and putting on the gel, like just leave it on. That way, you know, like when you're going through a theme park or something, you can like, oh, well, I'm going on Tiana's Bayou Adventure, quickly turn it on, and then you're off, and then you don't have to turn it on again until you've got another crazy coaster, for example. So that's how it works. 
It does feel a little weird in the beginning, like that constant, because it is constant. It's this constant, like tingling, numbing situation. You kind of just get used to it. But I, I will be honest, at first I was like, ooh, I don't know, I don't know if I can deal with this, right? It was a little weird. Um, but how did it work for us, right? So we talked about what it is. It's for motion, it's for nausea to help prevent those situations. We talked about the price, we talked about where you can get it. How did it work for us? Well, I'm here to tell you for motion for a car. Motion in a car, I'm gonna give it a 100%. Now we bought this right when my daughter was doing driver's ed. Who remembers driver's ed, yes? So the issue wasn't necessarily my daughter physically being the driver. As most of us with motion sickness know, when we're the driver, we don't experience the issue. It's when we're the passenger. It's when we're in the back seat. Well, per driver's ed, when she's not driving, she has to sit in the back while the other kid drives, right? Another newbie is trying to drive. So all that stop, go, stop, go, stop, go, turning, stopping, all that weirdness that constantly happens in driver's ed, we were nervous because she has to do that for an hour, several times being a witness to another teenager learning how to drive. So we got this in just enough time for her to do actual driver's ed where she was driving. And I can honestly say 100% guys, she did not vomit. She did not got, get sick. She was very anxious and very nervous because this had been the first time we had used the band. So she definitely had butterflies in her tummy. It didn't stop the butterflies, but she 100%, despite having her bucket and all the things with her, she never got sick. I'm calling that a win. Does that mean I can start taking the car for long drives? I'm hoping so, because that, that was kind of the point. But the fact that she passed driver's ed without getting sick is huge for us. So yes, 100% car motion. So then um, I think it was like a couple weeks later, we went to Disney World. So we flew to Orlando. Oh my gosh, it was the worst turbulence I have ever had on an airplane, both coming and going. I don't know if there was a storm or what was happening. It was, it was bad. We were both wearing our relief bands, turning them up high. I had a handheld fan. I'm trying to fan myself. I was afraid to drink water because I didn't want to lose it. It was, it was bad. We both survived 100%, two flights to Florida, back and forth without meds, no Dramamine. In fact, I had the Dramamine with me because I'm like, just in case as a backup, 100%. Car, flights, check, I am in love. So now, amusement parks, right? Disney World, a lot of you have been following me on my Facebook page where I showed you, I was testing out the relief band at Disney World on any, uh, the biggest situation for us was, well, we take a car to the airport, right? So motion. Then we have to take a shuttle from where we parked the car to the airport, motion. Then we're flying, motion. Then we had a driver pick us up from the airport, take us to Disney World. That's 35 minutes of more motion. Usually by now, my daughter has lost it. Her bucket has been full. Sorry about the gory details, but yes, it's true. She always loses it by that time with all that motion. This trip, no. So then we thought, okay, let's try the resort buses. There's a few times where she felt a little weird on those resort buses. I have too, especially in the high heat and it's packed in with all those people and you're standing there holding onto the thing. Yes. So we tried it on all those things. We tried them on the resort buses. We tried it on the Skyliner, that Skyliner system that goes across the sky. And when it stops to let in, um, say, someone with a handicap Skyliner or something, it kind of does this like gentle rocking back and forth. Oh my goodness. And you're sitting there hoping, please don't get me. Please don't get me. And you're nervous about it. And then the motion, oh my goodness. So we tested it on the Skyliner. And then I tested it on a bunch of rides that I'm not able to fully ride with my eyes open. There are a good chunk of rides that I ride. I enjoy them, but I can't open my eyes. And it's very frustrating or it's a one and done. Like once I ride Toy Story Mania once in a day, I usually can't go back even Toy Story Mania. So we tested on rides like Rise of the Resistance, yes, that drop, plus all that weird darting motion. Then you got Millennium Falcon. Millennium Falcon is virtual reality, right? So I'm sitting there pressing buttons. I have never, ever, ever been able to open my eyes and look at the actual screen. 
until now. Toy Story Mania where you do those quick turns to then pew pew and then another quick turn. I was able to ride that ride three times in a row. You see where I'm going with this? So yes, the Skyliner. Remy's Ratatouille, whatever the heck it's called at Epcot, adventure ride. I have ridden that ride several times. After my first time riding it, I warned you guys, motion sickness. Ever since then, I could not wear the 3D glasses and I always had to ride the ride with my eyes shut. I have never actually ridden that ride with my eyes open until now. I film it for you guys all the time, but what you don't know is my eyes are shut. I'm not wearing the glasses and my eyes are shut. First time guys, my eyes were open. I finally saw the full screens. And then there's a part where you do like a, a 360 circle. Yes, my eyes were open. I am so excited. And then Mick and Min's Runaway Railway. It's the same kind of motion as Rise of the Resistance. You're on that track and you kind of just dart. Yep, eyes open. Soren. Soren is not a ride that a lot of people will tell you has motion. Um, it's that virtual reality and you're in that big screen and it, you know, some things are coming at you and you've got that feeling like you're flying. Yeah, there are scenes in there. I will close my eyes. Not anymore. So as many of these rides are one and done, many of them, like I said, I have to close my eyes. I was able to do them all, enjoy them all for the first time in my life with my eyes open. I have the worst motion sickness on the planet. I cannot even ride in an elevator without getting sick. Anytime I'm in the car, I have to be the driver. Otherwise, I will get sick eventually after like 20 minutes. So for me, these are all wins. Now, a big chunk of you have been asking me, well, did you te test it on a coaster? Did you test it on Space Mountain? Did you test it on Tiana's? I did not. It was so unbelievably hot. I didn't want to push my luck. I'm just being honest. I didn't want to push my luck, but I'm excited to try in the future, right? Once the weather cools down in Orlando, I'm excited to try these rides with my band on. However, my daughter, she did those rides with her band on and was 100% successful. So yeah, I've, I've got to call this thing a win. And then coming soon, guys, I just found out I am headed on a Disney cruise. So guess what's going with me? That's right. My daughter's not going on this cruise just for mom. I'm going to pack both bands. Why? Something I didn't tell you. The premiere lasts about 18 hours. Well, full of cruise, that's 24 hours. I'm constantly in motion, right? So I'm actually going to pack two. I'll wear one for about 12 and then go to the next one and then charge and just keep switching. But I'm excited for the first time ever to go on a cruise without any drugs without any me uh, medicine. My first cruise, I tried Dramamine. I got so sick. The second cruise, we did the patch. I have to be honest, guys, and tell you, after going on, I can't even tell you, countless cruises and always wearing the patch, my very last, most recent cruise on the Disney Fantasy, I actually overdosed on the patch. That's a thing. I overdosed on the patch. I had the patch on for your three days. I took it off, put on the second patch, woke up the next day and I was blind. I could not see out of my eyes. I had to go to the med bay. I think it's deck one. Had to talk to the nurse. She told me it is so common for people to overdose on the patch. And this is the patch from my doctor. I have a prescription for the patch. She said it was so common, never wear the patch again. So me knowing Dramamine doesn't work, me knowing the patch I could overdose again, I, I, I just gotta say, I'm really hoping this, this, this is the ticket for me right here. So I'm excited to try that. But yeah, so stay tuned for that. But yes, in the end, was it worth it? For me, for my family, 100%. So whether it was $400 or whatever it was for all of these things that I purchased, 100% for the car and airplane alone. But the fact that I can maybe finally ride rides at Disney World and enjoy them fully is absolutely amazing. If I can go on this cruise and not get sick, I'm going to be madly in love. And something you guys don't know, I've been kind of keeping it a secret because it's not, I don't know, it's not really well known. Last year I was diagnosed with something called 
disembarkation syndrome. It is very, very rare. I had to go to several doctors to finally get the diagnosis. Basically what it means is after a trip, I will feel the motion of the trip. For many people, when they go on a cruise, that is common. They feel it for a couple of days. They're trying to get their land legs back. For me, it's months and months. I constantly feel like I'm on a ship and I'm moving back and forth. It was really hard to film when it was happening. Um, I would actually stand still and sometimes feel like I'm in an earthquake. So with these things happening, the fact that I have this syndrome, the fact that I have motion sickness, my daughter included, I thought, what the heck? What if this thing is the answer to my prayers? What, is, what if it's the answer to my travel situation? How can I be a travel agent? How can I be a travel vlogger who has motion issues? Like, it's just so weird. So anyway, yes, worth it for us. Check, would I buy it again? Absolutely. Am I excited to try coasters? Yeah, slowly but surely I will add in coasters. I just remember what it was like to be sick on them. I have been sick on so many coasters to the point where they had to wheelchair me around for the rest of the day because I couldn't even walk. That's how bad it got me. I'm just excited. I'm excited. So for those of you who wanted to know, was the relief band worth it for my family? Yes, now it does say in the fine print of the relief band that it is not for everyone. So if you put it on and you cannot get the tinglys, it might not work for you. Keep adjusting it up and down your wrist, you know, adjust how much oil you're putting on, how much gel you're putting on. If you're still not getting the tingly, it might not work for you. But I'm excited, my daughter was excited, and I can wholeheartedly right now, yes, we love our relief band, being able to go drug free, not being able to worry about it, not constantly carrying a bucket around. Yes. And for those of you who are curious about what other rides at Disney World can cause motion, I actually have a whole video about it. I forget how many I listed. Was it like 20 or something? Rides at Disney World that can cause motion sickness in some people. Yeah especially me. Consider me the most sensitive person. If it's going to cause me to have motion issues, yeah, it might you as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it got a little long for just reviewing the relief band, but I felt like I needed to explain my background and, and, and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm not just your everyday person who has motion. I'm an extreme case. And I feel like if it works for an extreme case, it might work for you as well. But yeah, go ahead and check out that Disney World video. I'll pop it up here uh, about motion sickness. But yeah, I'm excited, guys. I am definitely excited. Stay tuned. When I do go on my Disney cruise, I will 100% be talking about my relief ban. And cross your fingers for me, because if it works on a cruise, oh yeah, sold. I'm going to have to get another one so that I don't have to keep stealing my daughters. And then I'm going to have to get one for my son. So when we go on a family cruise, we all got the relief ban. 100% worth it if it works. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is red, please click it, turn it gray, hit the bell icon for notifications. A like this video, pretty, pretty please. Share with family and friends. Anyone, Disney or not, right? Anyone who experiences motion concerns, even if it's just the car, like I said, or just the airplane, send them this video. This may be the answer to their prayers, to their situation. So yeah, share everyone. I absolutely appreciate it. But yeah, as always, mahalo for watching. Nina out. Bye guys. Oh.